Uh, and I want to show you here our entry console. So this is part of our smart building ecosystem. It's the first component that you see when you enter a One Valley powered building. Uh, so this will replace you know, a doorman or those ugly silver Mercom dialers that you see when you enter the building. So this is our entry console here. Uh, it's totally software based, so everything you see on the screen is totally customizable. Uh, and because it's software based, we're always pushing updates and new features. So that you're getting a piece of hardware, it's not going to be obsolete in five to ten years. It's always going to be state of the line. It's always going to be innovative. All it needs to function is a connection to power and internet. Um, it has a backup LTE and built-in batteries so that in case the power goes out, uh, the component can still run. Lots of cool features here. So you can call a taxi, you can call a concierge, you can actually use facial recognition to enter the building as well. So if I'm a resident, I went for a run, I didn't want to bring my keys or my phone. All I have to do is step in front here. It'll scan my face and it'll unlock the door, allowing the resident to enter the building. You don't even have to use their hands. Uh, we have the resident directory here. So how this works is it actually sends a video call to the resident on the resident application so that they can see who's at the door. So I'll actually demonstrate this super quick. I'm gonna call this device right here. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a little call here. The Wi-Fi makes the video a little slow, but you can see just how responsive it is. I can unlock the door for the person. I can answer the call and it's one-way video, two-way audio so that you can see who's at the door but they can't see in the suite. So I'm going to hang up here. It's also multilingual, English and French, we're a Canadian company so those are our two, uh, two main languages. And the other way you can enter the building is through PIN code. So this is awesome if you have you know, outsourced workers or staff that are entering the building at different times. Using the portal in the back you can actually curate uh, the time of day and the days in which they can access the building using their unique PIN code. So if you have a worker that comes you know, three days a week, you can set it so that they can only enter the building those three days and eliminates people going in and out of your building and you know, creating a safety hazard for the people that live there. Last couple of things, it meets all of the accessibility standards, so if there's somebody in a wheelchair or somebody that just can't reach the top for whatever reason, hit this button here, drops everything down so they can easily access it. Uh, and the last super cool feature is this scanner right here. So what we've done is we've, uh, we've virtually eliminated the, uh, the bottleneck that happens for couriers when they're trying to enter the building. So at least in Canada, a lot of times they can't even get through the vestibule. So what they have to do is leave that little sticker on the wall saying, hey, you have a package that you missed, go off site to get it. For the delivery companies, that's a $6 charge every single time. So what we've done to fix that is we've included these parcel scanners. What they do is they read the barcode of a package that's destined for that building in transit and a few other criteria that kind of make up the special sauce. So all you do is scan the barcode and what it's going to do is open the door here so that the courier can now enter the building uh, and then we close the loop by putting smart lockers in the mail room allowing them to deposit the package in there put the name of the recipient so they get a message on the resident app saying hey you have a package waiting and you don't get the ugly clutter of 50 boxes at the concierge desk. Uh, and this is just one of the elements that's part of our ecosystem. Uh, we have a whole bevy of them from the resident application like I showed you, uh, a workstation for the concierge, a portal for the property manager to manage the building, uh, and an unlimited number of integrations with hardware such as access control, uh, door locks, thermostats, things along those lines.